Here's this month's gear tip. Mr. Boyd and Mr. Sheehy are always suggesting Luco tape. That's L-E-U-K-O, which is a better alternative than moleskin. It sticks to anything and it sticks to days. So for blisters, it's a great idea. But when you have that roll in your bag, not only does it weigh a few ounces, but it sticks to everything too. So a tip I have is to get those backings from, you buy something from Kohl's or wherever and they send in the, the return address label if you want to mail it back. Just pull that label off and throw it away and then attach strips of Luco tape to this. That way it's not as heavy and you can cut it off and if you fold it in half, then it can only stick to itself and not all the other gear in your bag. That's this month's tip. That's Luco tape, L-E-U-K-O. Thanks to Mr. Boyd and Mr. Sheehy. Oh, Stewardess. Yeah, I'm 
the remote control. I love laughing. That's all I need. And that's all I need, too. I don't need one other thing. Not one. I need this. The battle game and the chair and the remote control and the matches for sure. is dead.
Welcome back, Troop 75, to another month of Geezerville and the Scoutmaster Minute. As promised, last month we talked about the beginning phases of choosing a service project. So today I want to follow up with that just a little bit. And what today is going to be focused on is simply what counts as a service project. Well, first and foremost, do Eagle Scout projects count? The answer is yes, they do count. But I want a little bit more than just showing up. The requirement is participate in a service project. So you have to go, you have to participate, you have to do something while you're there in order for it to count. And that is where the fine line is. Make sure you're doing that. Other projects that would count would be things such as working at a local food bank or maybe doing a cleanup in a local park. Also, you could help out at camp. Talk to Mr. Olry about that. And you also could do other projects such as projects around your house or your neighborhood um, as long as you get it approved by me first. So when you're thinking through projects that count for rank, that's what we're looking for. This does not include Eagle um, and this is not the end all be all because you can think outside the box and come up with your own projects, but that's an idea. Eagle Scout projects is what we're gonna talk about next and what we're looking for in an Eagle Scout project because it's not quite the same as every other project that you work on for rank. So that, for this month, is some ideas on different types of service projects. 